Okay guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna focus on deep diving into template matching. Now some of you guys are already familiar with template matching. It's a form of AI and computer vision that can be used to locate objects, locations, and quantity on a screen. So it's great for all types of applications such as navigation, finding enemies, checking inventory. It can be used for many, many things where you wanna identify objects, identify what they are, identify where they are, and identify how many are on the screen. So to give you an idea of what we're gonna program through this next couple of videos, we are gonna take a AI that's able to, to, to look at our computer vision, our screen, and it's gonna be able to look and find the objects. So you can see if I move this image around, it's able to detect where each block is on the screen or the Goomba in this case down here. It's able to ident identify where they are. So it's able to put a box around where they are. And it's also able to identify what each of these items is. And you can see it, it puts the template, uh, the matching templates name next to it. So this is block number one, that's the block type. If I scroll up top, the question mark is called, I called it block three.png. And of course the Goomba is Goomba.png. And we can develop a different naming system, but you can see we can identify objects, we can locate objects. And the third thing that's really important is we wanna make sure that we have an acceptable frame rate. So I am capturing video right now, so it's a little bit slower than it is when I turn it off. But you can see, even though I'm moving this around, I'm able to get a very fast response and instantaneous recognition of objects. So there's quite a lot to unpack over the next couple of videos. We're gonna be looking at performance, like I said, speed. We're gonna be looking at match templating, and we're gonna be looking at a workflow. We don't wanna manually create templates over and over and over again. So how can we automate the process where we just put our images in a folder called templates and let the program automatically parse those into templates for us? And it all happens automatically when we boot up our agent. So that's what we're gonna look at over the next couple of videos. It's gonna be a little, there's gonna be a lot to learn here, a lot to unpack, a lot of great stuff. But first, before we get started, just to make sure everybody's crystal clear on what we mean by a match template before we get started, let's take a look at what the match template is. Okay, if I asked you to identify where the question mark blocks are on the screen, could you do it? I think most of you could do that. And the reason is, in your mind, you already have a template of what you're supposed to look for. And that template doesn't need to look exactly like the, the block, but it's gotta look close enough so that you can actually identify it. So for example, in your mind, maybe you, when I say question mark block, you think of something simple just like this. And what happens is, subconsciously, your brain is gonna take that image, which I'll make in uh, purple here, and it's gonna superimpose that, you're gonna scan that whole image and you're gonna find locations where there's a really strong match between that template that's in your brain and what's on the screen. And that's exactly how template matching works for the computer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take an image like this one, like this question mark image, and we're gonna put it on the screen and we're gonna do what's called a convolution. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna check how close is it to the image. Okay, the background image is all blue, this is different colors, different you know contours, whatever. Very low match, and we're gonna keep doing that. We're gonna move over one pixel, we're gonna check. We're gonna move over one pixel, we're gonna check. We're gonna move over one pixel. Until finally, we, we land here, and all of a sudden we have a very high match, a very high correlation. And as long as that's above a certain threshold, we're gonna treat that as a hit. We're gonna treat that as that's the object. And then we're gonna keep moving. Now keep in mind, when we move one pixel or two pixels, it's still gonna be a very close match. So we might actually get a bunch of hits here in this region. And then we move over here and we get no hits and we go around and we keep going around. It's called convoluting through the image. We're gonna convolve. And then finally we get here. Now this matches maybe closer than the blue because we have those four black dots, we have some black outline, so this might statistically be closer than the blue background, but it's still not as close as this one up here was. And then we keep moving, and then finally we land here, we get another big hit, we land here, we get another big hit, and that's how match template works. It's gonna take that template image, it's gonna convolve it over the screen, and it's gonna look for places where the patterns match. And where it does, we are gonna note that so in our case, we'll say we got a very high match here, here, and here. So this pixel on my template is gonna to correspond to this pixel on that image. And we know that that is an exact, or very close to an exact match. We also know that when we put the image here, we get a 
so-so match, maybe not very close. But when we put the image here, totally nothing comparable, just blue and, and different colors. So absolutely no match. So that's what match template does, is it attempts to look at the whole image and establish where on that image we can find that object and how close each position corresponds to our template. So let's look at how we can implement this in code. 